Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Fine, fine, teacher. Good. Right. Good today. Nice. Nice shirt, the one that you have. Okay, so it's a pleasure to be with you tonight. We're going to start and uh, we're going to check the attendance. Uh, there are just a few of you, but anyways, uh, if the rest come, we're going to check that later on. So uh, let's see how it goes. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Here, coach. Present. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Good teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández de Norte. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. Maria Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Monica Wendy Avalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidoni. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Very good. All right. So we're going to start just checking to the platform. And we're going to start tonight the unit number four. So we need to be, let me just go here. This is it. Okay, so this is the class of tonight and we need to move on to the homework 4.1. So you just need to click on the right option and that will be it, okay? Uh, for this weekend, we need to finish all the platforms, okay? So it's important that you move on with the platform. So we are, everybody finishing that. Also, uh, you are going to receive the INSA for uh, survey. Remember that that is something that we're going to do together on the last class, right? So it's just a reminder of that. Good. The name of the last unit is loyalty. So in general, what is loyalty? Lealtad. Very good. That is uh, loyalty in general. So I believe that loyalty is one of the most powerful characteristics that we look for in people, in friendship, and also companies, they really, really want to have loyalty from people, right? So, of course, we're going to speak a little bit more about 
uh, loyalty. Uh, what is the difference between loyalty and faithful? Well, first of all, what is faithful? Faithful. What is that? Let me just check in the chat. I'm going to write. Faithful is a fiel, fidelizar. Very good. That would be faithful. Okay, so it's not the same faithful than loyal, right? It would be loyal. Perfect. So let me just move on here. Okay, we're going to watch a little video. It's a small one this time. As usual, we are going to check the video and then you are going to tell me uh, what you understood about that. Okay, so uh, here we go. Social media. There's absolutely no way you haven't heard of it yet. Over the last few years, social media has completely changed the internet. Actually, it has changed the whole world and also the world of marketing. So what are the reasons for your business to start utilizing these new forms of communication as soon as possible? These are the seven most important ones. Number one, showcase your brand. Social media offers another marketing channel for creating brand awareness, relationship building, or driving new sales. So why not use it, especially when it's free, right? Number two, develop a loyal community. People enjoy being part of a business that is proactively building a lively community. Such an online community can help you establish an emotional connection between your company and your prospects, which is essential for your long-term success. Number three, improve customer service. Social media is a great feedback source. Enabling your prospects to communicate with your company and each other can greatly improve your customer service and increase brand trustworthiness. Number four, increase digital exposure. Interacting in social networks can significantly increase your online presence. Social media leads to massive exposure due to its worldwide access, sharing capabilities, and huge amount of daily users. Number 5. Boost traffic in search engine rating. Social media is a major lead generator, and it constantly brings high-volume traffic to your website. They can also help with SEO, since search engines significantly reflect your social media content. Number 6. Expand sales and reach a new audience. Listening to your prospects on social networks can help you respond to their specific needs. This will most likely cause an increase in sales, but also expand your customer base. Number 7. Cut marketing costs. Compared to traditional channels like printer advertising, social media marketing is affordable for any business. Remember that the channel itself is free. Managing social media, taking care of all the content, tweets, or feedback can get pretty time consuming, and you need to focus primarily on your business. So how about leaving the social stuff to us? No worries, we have plenty of experience to take complete responsibility of your social presence. So get in touch with us. We're ready to start today. Okay, what did you get from the video? The video, the video teacher speak about about the 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 social the social media and uh when the social media changed the the internet in in the different different topics for example develop a loyalty community improve customer service increase digital ex explores expose expand expands your audience in the other topics very very interesting uh, in the currently very good perfect thank you so it's true right the world is not the same it's changing every every day and it's changing very fast nowadays so uh, very good uh, any other comments or opinion on the video yes i could see in the video that social media is another tool that we can use by increase and in, improve our sales in our company if we have uh, some business and we are we are growing uh, uh, 
quickly in this moment because every week, every day, uh, social media is increased uh, about new um, um, tools that develop. Very good, perfect. So, uh, yes, uh, it's a very valuable tool that you can use to, to do many things, right? Um, I remember a few years ago where we don't, didn't have social media. I mean, the world is changing a lot. Uh, first, it came the computers, then the internet, uh, email was fantastic, then we have chat, then we have uh, the social media, right? So nowadays, it's crazy. So you can find whatever you want, anything that you may want. Uh, hello, Aida. Anything that you may want to know. I mean, uh, if you want to learn how to do something, you can go online and check into that one. If you want to review a place, a restaurant, anything, you can do it online. And uh, of course, it's a, a big door for new businesses, right? Good. So we are going to start. Yeah. On a little website that we have here. Oh. Yes. Perfect. So we can check into that. It says eight ways to gain more attentions for your business. So what is gain? That is the first question here. What is gain? Ganar. Ganar. Very good. Actually, we can say gain, or we can say win, and we can say earn. Okay, I'm going to write the words here in the chat. So, exactly. We have win, gain, and earn. Um, win in Spanish, ganar, right? Gain in Spanish, ganar. Earn in Spanish, ganar. But what is the difference between win, gain, and earn? Anybody knows? Es como beneficio o ganancia, teacher. Okay, very good, perfect. Yeah, mm -hmm. the three are verbs. The first one, win, we're going to use win when we are speaking about a prize, a competition. So we use win. Gain is, for example, when you gain experience, when you gain uh, uh, weight, something like that. And earn is when you work and you earn your money, something that you deserve. So that is the difference between these three words. Okay, just in case uh, you are wondering on that. All right. So let's uh, read into this. Uh, Maria Julia, could you please read the first paragraph? Let's go. Let's face it. The consumer market is 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 that is saturated with saturated with product brand and business business that the take up space and attention from millions of consumers every day. Whether it's via social media, be, be billboards online, advertising, television, commercial or, or, radio, or radio, sport, customer experience, experience Hundred and many hundreds and many experience thousand of brand message message on on a daily basis keeping this this in this is might in your brand or business among them. Very good. So let's check what it says. Let's face it. it says. So let's get something in front of us. The consumer market is saturated with product. That is true. A lot of products, right? So sometimes we don't know what to buy because there are many things to buy. Brands and businesses 
that take up space and attention from millions of consumers every day, okay? So I believe that is clear. A lot of brands, a lot of companies, they want to get your money. That's, that's what I think when I see a lot of commercials, a lot of advertising. I mean, the government, they want your money. Uh, the people, they want the money. Everybody wants your money. So it says, whether it's uh, via social media, billboards. Do you know what is billboards? Son unos premios, teacher. Well, yeah, it's the name of some uh, words, billboard. It's for the music, as I remember. Um, okay. But actually, actually, billboard is related to advertising. So billboards are those big advertising that you see on the streets. Those are the billboards. I I saw in the on the street. Exactly. Okay. So when you are on the highway and you see a big advertising ah. about anything, that is a billboard. Or similar publicity uh, is a muppet. Something like that, yeah, very good. Okay, and it says online advertising, uh, television commercials or radio spots. The commercials for radio, they call they are called radio spots, okay? Then it says customers experience hundreds and many experience thousands of brand messages on a daily basis. That is true. For example, here I'm closing an advertising, right? So um, eh, 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 look at this, uh-huh. Everywhere you open something, you go to Facebook, you go to YouTube, you go to uh, I mean, you are surrounded by a lot of advertisements. Okay, and then it says, Keeping this in mind, is your brand or business among them? What is among? It's similar or synonymous between, it's similar to between, yeah. The difference is that between is between two things. Among is surrounded for many. That will be the difference. It's a preposition, of course. Good. Uh, Ernesto, could you please help me reading the second paragraph? Okay, teacher. To help a state up of mind among consumers, it's vital to keep up viral you keep you keep up with the rat race of brand impressions whether you like you like it or not this is particularly important for small for small businesses who often compete against more recognized brands names or national companies yet even for those businesses who claim claim to have a limit competition, a staying top of mind among cons customers is critical for long-term success. In an effort to help your unique business capture customers' attention in a crowd consumer marketplace, consider these eight tips. Okay, perfect. So interesting. So it says to help stay top of mind among consumers. It's vital you keep up. What is keep up? Do you know? For example, there was a show that was called Keep Up with the Kardashians, right? I don't know if you said that. Uh, yeah, so it's to be up to date, right? To have the most recent news about something. And rat race is, is like that. Right? It's a race of rats. So meaning that Everybody's competing. Everybody's competing for your money, as we were saying, of brand impressions. Whether you like it or not, I mean, it's necessary. This is particularly important for small businesses who often compete against more recognized brand names or national companies, and that is true. So, yeah, for small companies, it's more difficult. Right? Yet, even for those businesses claim to have limited competition, staying top of mind among customers is critical for long-term success. 
So even if you're a big company, you need to invest, right? So, and then it says, let's check what am I? Um, yet, even for those businesses who claim to have a what? Do you know what is yet? Oh. Very good, Beth. So, in an effort to help your unique business capture customers' attention in a crowded consumer marketplace, what is crowded? Multitude. Multitude. Very crowded. A lot of people, right? Uh, and there are eight tips about this. All right. And well, yeah, the first one is going to be for Ramiro. Tip number one, partner with like middle businesses. Like-minded. Partner with like-minded businesses. When you partner with like my businesses, you open a uh, you open up opportunities to attract more customers than no partnering with uh, anyone not however that like mineral businesses are for different than competitive businesses for example a local dry dry cleaning company may partner with a local men's sweet store and together they can market each other businesses, others businesses to their customers. They can do this by offering promotional postcards, coupons, and general marketing so support to each of their respective customers. But, but they can also take, take this partnership to another level by hosting in a store events together, extending loyalty, loyalty incentive incentives among both businesses, businesses and share each other's email list to help promote one another. The key is to identify the right partner for your unique business that cater to the same target market that you, you do. They work together to support each other in gaining visibility and sales among each other's customers. To maximize your efforts, aim to create more long-term more long term partnerships versus one-time one-time experience. This cap help both sides of the partnerships is gaining customer attention, sales, and overall success. Very so, good. So this is the first tip. So partner with like-minded businesses. Uh, what is partner for this for? Compañero. Very good. So partner, right? Partner. With like-minded business, what do you understand on that one? Partner with like-minded business. What do you understand on that? Teacher, uh, where is the the line you you read? Is the topic is this one? Partner white. So what is partner with like-minded business? What do you understand on that? El compañero con con el mismo negocio, no sé. Very good, something like that. So. Partner with like-minded business. Sería como be... una mentalidad de negocio. Very good. Hacer un, un partnership. Asociarse con una, con un negocio con la misma mentalidad o parecida, una mentalidad parecida. 
con un tipo de negocio parecido. So, and actually the example here is very good. I mean, uh, a company that makes suits, you know what is suits, right? For men, so with the jacket and tie uh, and the cleaner. Uh, so definitely that is a very good example. Let's check. It says, when you partner with like-minded business, uh, you open up opportunities. Open up is the same than open. So it's not a big difference, okay? But it's a phrase of that, that you use. Open up opportunities to attract more customers than not partnering with them. Ah, that is for sure. Note, however, that like-minded businesses are far different than competitive businesses. So that is true. So you are going to find a business that is complementary for your business, not something that is your competition, right? All right. So, and then this is, for example, a local dry cleaning company may partner with a local men's suit store and together. Uh, what is suit? Uh, that's the question I was asking. What is suit? Traje o saco. Very good. That would be traje. So, yeah, these two companies, they can partner together right? and market each other businesses to their customers. So they help each other. So it's a very good strategy. They can do this by offering promotional postcards, coupons, and general marketing support to each of their respective customers. So this is a very good strategy. Coupon for you to go to the dry cleaning. They are next to us. So that is a very good. Okay, and then it says, but they can also take this partnership to another level by hosting in-store events together. What is hosting? Coordinador. Something like that, right? To host is a verb that we use when a person, for example, in mind that Ernesto is going to give a party in his house next Saturday. And we are... Uh -huh. Amphitryon? That's the word, Amphitryon. So, so hosting means that you are going to do an activity to uh, attend people. Uh, in this case, in the store, uh, you can do it together with the other. So you can share check what, what you can do. Extending loyalty incentives among both businesses and sharing each other's email list. This is a very good tip, actually. So I can get some email and you can get some emails and we can send massive emails. Marketing uh, like that is something very popular to help promote one another. The key, what is the key in this situation? La clave. Very good. The key is to identify the right partners for your unique business. That cattle, what is cattle? Okay, cattle uh, or cattering is an activity where you the most cargado something like that okay a catering is a company that takes care of something the most common in english catering is when you are going to give a party and you don't want to cook so you uh, hire a company so they can cook and serve food in your party atender atender más o menos very good so that would be that so cater to the same target, Mark, did you do? Uh, then work together to support each other in gaining visibility and sales among each other's customers to maximize your efforts. What is efforts? Esfuerzo. Esfuerzos. Very good. So to maximize your efforts, aim. What is aim? Objetivo. Very similar. Very good. Aim. So aim is apuntar. 
So you aim to create a more long-term partnerships versus one-time exposures. Uh, this can help both sides of the partnership in gaining customers' attention, sales, and overall success. So the first tip is to partner with a company, a company that is similar and has the kind of same business, right? Do you have any questions here on the first one? Eh, ese IM eh, lo puedo utilizar como objetivo, meta o propósito. Eh, no, that will be no. a tag, dirigirse a something. Eh. Ah, ok. Como un punto de llegada, algo así, o uh -huh. algo esperado. Ajá, uh -huh. so it's not the objective, but it's when you point to that objective. Okay, the, the second one, let me see, yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, the second one says strengthen your brand impressions. What is strengthen? Fortaleza. Strength is fortaleza. When you say strengthen is fortalecer. Fortalecer, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So strengthen your brand impressions. Um. René, please help me reading the second one. Okay. Tip two, strength your brand impression, impressions. Companies such as Nike, who is a recognizer for, it, for their sim simple jet ball logo and Kathy slogan. That's just do it. Do not happen overnight. It takes great deals and of rim, rhyme, rhyme and reason the position of strong brand and particularly one uh, that is easily. Is correct easily? Yes. Easily, easily recommended. And respect respected as Nike is your consider your old company's branding. Would you say that it connects with customers? It is a memorable, memorable. Thus, it's allow for cost customers to easily understand that it is your do or sell when you think of of your branding it's natural to think of your logos tagline 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 website design and social media present but the what else and where else where where else is your branding marketing marketing making and impact consider all the places that your brand is or should be a uh, represented and i am to strength strengthen each of these plays of their effort to create considered branding that con connects your customer and business together. Your goal to after clear, clear branding your one sport to the next to the next two next two to the customer can recognize your business considerately and easily easily with also living thing, living then and strong memorable impressions. Okay, very good, perfect. So let's check it out. It says strengthen your brand impression. So you are going to strengthen the brand impression, the idea that people have about your brand, right? And the first example is a good one. Companies such as Nike, who is recognized for the simple jet ball logo. The logo, everybody knows the logo of Nike, right? So it's something that is recognizable. You see that logo and you know, okay? And catchy slogan, just do it. 
very simple, right? Just do it, it's a very simple slogan, but it says, do not happen overnight. What is overnight? Toda la noche. Mm, that is all night long. Overnight is... Bajo. Bajo. Uh -huh. Bajo la noche, algo así. Mm. Pobre. Mm. It's when we say, overnight is when we say, de la noche a la mañana. So, it wasn't very fast. It took some time for Nike to develop that little slogan. So, it's just three words. Just do it. But it was, I mean, they pay a lot of people to go and try to get that one. It took a lot of time. It's very simple, but it's very popular, right? It's very strong. So, it takes a great deal of rhyme and reason. So this is an expression. When you say rhyme and reason, it means that you invest a lot of time in creating something. It's a very popular expression in English. So let's let's uh, make rhyme and reason on this, I don't know, in this project, for example. So that means that you need to, to invest a lot of time. To position a strong brand, and particularly one that is as easily recognized and respected as Nike. What is easily? Facilísimo. 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 Reconocido. Yeah. Easily. Exactly. So if you consider your own company's branding, would you say that it connects with customers? So those are questions that we need to ask ourselves. Is it memorable? Is something that people are going to remember? Does it allow for customers to easily understand what it is you do or sell? Very important questions. If you have a company and you have a logo, a slogan, when people read the slogan, they understand what you are doing? Okay. Very good questions, right? Um, Let's see, when you think of your branding, it's natural to think of your logos. Tagline, do you know what is tagline? Um, no. El eslogan. El eslogan. Very good. Tagline is a synonym of slogan. Very good. The website designed in social media presence. But what else? And where else is your branding making an impact? Very good question as well. Consider all the places that your brand is or should be. Maybe you need the product to go to, I don't know, stores, big stores or supermarkets. Represented and aim to strengthen each of these places in an effort to create consistent branding that connects your customers and business together. Your goal, to offer clear branding from one spot to the next, to the next, to the next. So that customers can recognize your business consistently and easily, while also leaving them a strong, memorable impression. Definitely, this is something that we need to do. It, it requires a lot of effort a lot of work, a lot of time, but it's necessary. Do you have any questions on this one? Okay, let's go to tip number three. Let me check, yeah, it's not that long. Okay, uh, this is going to be for uh, Veronica Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, read a uh, old. Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, the tip three. Yeah. Create original content, time and time again. Marketing experts tell folks the same thing. Content is gold. The reason for this is that content helps businesses generate more search engine results. Offer a connection between consumers 
and brands delivers valuable information that may not otherwise have the opportunity to be shared and strengthens overall brand our awareness 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 additional content helps to keep brands and business relevant something that any business can appreciate as i recently explained on fever that can be relevant in today's saturday saturday marketplace of freelancers and small business owners is absolutely vital in keeping your brand and business successful I lost, I lost this. Thank you. A strong, low, stellar customer service, outstanding products and service, and more will all help your brand find profit and success. Get content marketing is what it will keep your business top on my among customers. Deliver value to new and existing customers alike and open up an avenue of communication for you to engage and interact with customer. Very good, perfect. So let's check it out. Create original content, definitely. If you are going to have presence on, in the social media, it has to be relevant, something attractive, something that people say, look at this. Remember that when you share this uh, content, people, if they like it, they, the, the people, they are going to share the links, right? So everybody's going to be able to watch it. Time and time again, this is an expression. Uh, it's like when we say, una y otra vez. Okay, time and time. Okay. It says, marketing experts tell folks. What is folks? Amigos. Amigos. Yes, yeah, something like that one. Uh, I remember the first time that I learned that word was in the cartoon. Hey, that's all folks. Yeah. That's all folks. Yeah. So the same thing. Constance's goal, the reason for this is that content helps uh, businesses generate more search engine results, offers a connection between consumers and brands, deliver valuable information that may not otherwise. What is otherwise? Like other pensamientos, otra mm. manera de pensar, algo así. De otra manera, very good. De otra manera, de lo contrario. Very good. Uh, otherwise, have the opportunity to be shared and strengthen overall brand awareness. Additional content helps to keep brands and businesses relevant, something that any business can appreciate. And then it says, being relevant in today's saturated marketplace of freelancers what is freelancer in trabaja como trabajo independiente algo very así. good so nowadays that is very very popular freelancers it's very, very popular it's very popular to be a freelancer to have a a, a job where you I mean have free schedule and many other things and small business owners is absolutely vital in keeping your brand and business successful. Strong logos. Stellar. What is Stellar? The talking. Stellar. Okay, Stellar is like that in Spanish. Estelar. Something like premium. Customer service outstanding. What is outstanding? Sobresaliente. Very good. That is outstanding. Sobresaliente. Outstanding products and services and more will all help your brand find profit and success. Yet content marketing is what will keep your business top of mind among customers. What is top of mind? En el tope de la mente, en lo principal. Pero, 
Yeah, on the top. So when you go to the supermarket and you want to buy, I don't know, mayonnaise, there is a brand that comes to your mind first. That is it, right? Deliver value to new and existing customers alike. Uh, what is alike? Disgusto, I would say. Uh, that is dislike. Oh. Igual, similares. Similares, very good. And, oops, and open Igual. up an avenue of communication for you to engage and interact with customers. So, the content has to be relevant. And then it says tip number four. This is going to be for, let's see, Sandra Gomez. Okay, sure. Tip number four, short relevant content. Great content is one thing. Sharing is it is another where where you aim to share share original content or not. Sharing content in general is important. There are many channels in which you handle this, including via your channels in which you can do this, including via your help business blog, throw social media as a contributor to other websites and throw email marketing. How else these offers particularly with Combine, general, combine, with help, general customer attention, while also helping to let more click to your website and your those of your goal might not show anything online. Do it's not consider this aggressive offer effort. Your website is still a key factor in customer in consumer decision. Even uh. if you don't offer the opportunity for purchase to be made online. Speaking of which. Okay, very good. So share relevant content. So for first of all, you have to create relevant content. But there is a lot of content that you can share, original or not. So you need to decide which content you are going to share. So it creates a big impact. Okay, so it says creating content is one thing. Sharing it is another. Whether you aim to share original content or not, sharing content in general is important. There are many channels in which you can do this, including via your own business blog, through social media, as a contributor to other websites, and through email marketing. All of these efforts, particularly when combined, will help generate customers' attention while also helping to lead more clicks to your website. And for those of uh, you who may not sell anything online, do not consider this a wasted effort. Your website is still a key factor in consumer decisions. Even if you don't offer the opportunity for purchases to be made online, uh, do you have any question in this? I didn't find any word. I don't know if you have any questions. Teacher, what's the mean? Is the word waste? Very good. So waste. Anybody knows what is waste? Desperdiciar. 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 Very good. Wasted effort. Waste. Thank you. Good. Number five. So, yeah, it's not real. Let's see. This is going to be for Ana Hernandez. Good evening. Good evening. Strengthen your website quality. Branding just like first impression made among individuals happens in just a second. Now in this, uh, do you feel that your website accordingly 
represent your company if only viewed for just a sec, a few seconds. The, rea the reality is that many customers land on a website only to quickly leave it. This abandon abandonment happened fast. With Nielsen Norman Group reporting uh, that websites ha have has long lot of a uh, short depending on if you are a glass full or empty kind of person to capture customer attention to help keep customer from leaving your website consider the overall image your website offers that's it complement your branding is it a fair representation of your physical storefront or business if you have one now consider that call to, to action if any is hot it has the customer now that to do on your website once a uh, day lander or does it lack a clear value proposition for customer to easily connect with? Consider oh. where the gray areas are in your website. Then I am to make them boldly stand, stand up so that you can keep customer engaged uh, on your website versus quickly leaving in it search of an order. Very good, perfect, thank you. So yes, strengthen your website quality. So the website, if you have one website, has to be very nice, attractive, depending on the business that you have, reflecting that idea. So it says branding, just like first impression made among individuals, happens in just seconds. This is true. And the first impression is one of the most important things. Knowing this, do you feel that your website accurate? What is accurate? Anybody? Okay, accurately is exactly precision. Uh -huh, precision. Very good. Accurately. What size? Accurately represents your company if only view it for just a few seconds. Excuse me, teacher. Que uh, era accurately? Precisamente. Preciso. Precis la manera precisa. De la manera, el white side preciso represent. Okay. The reality is that many customers land on a website only to quickly leave it. That is true, right? Uh, this abandonment, what is abandonment? Yeah, abandonar. Happens fast. With Nielsen Norman Group reporting that website had as uh, long or as short, depending uh, on if you are a glass full of empty kind of person. So all this is like when you say that depending on on what you have on your website, people are going to feel that you are to capture customers' attention. To help customers from leaving your website, Consider the overall image from uh, all your website offers. What is overall? Sobre todo. Sobre todo. So the whole image, the complete image, right? Does it complement? What is complement? Complemento. That, that is complement. This is complement. Oh, complement. Complement. Okay, compliment is like when you say something nice about a person, or in this case, a website. So it's like elogia, something your branding. Is it a fair representation of your physical storefront or business? What is fair? Uh, 
Justa. Esa justa. 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 Okay. Yeah, very good. Uh, it is fair presentation of your physical storefront. What is storefront? Storefront. El frente de la tienda. Su tienda en general. Your storefront. So, como se ve la tienda por frente. Or business. Uh, if you have one. Now consider what call of to action if any it has. Do customers know? What to do on your website once they land there? This is a big problem, actually. Uh, sometimes I am in websites and you need to do something, but you don't know where to go, right? Uh, sometimes the websites are wrong. They are not user-friendly. Uh, or does it lack a clear value proposition for customers to easily connect with? Consider where the gray areas are in your website. Then aim to make them badly stand out. What is badly? Es sobresalir. Very good. Make them badly stand out so that you can keep customers engaged on your website versus quickly leaving it in a search of another do you have any questions here? Yes, teacher. I have a question. Okay. Uh, I don't mean lack, lack. Ah, very good question. Uh, sit. Uh, right, sit. Okay, uh, lack. Okay. Yes. yes, lack. Anybody? What is lack? Falta. 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 Falta, yes. Que le falta algo. Huh? Something okay. missing. Okay, teacher. Uh, fire. ¿Qué dijo que fire? Uh, fear. Uh, fear. Justo. Ah, justo. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're okay. welcome. Uh, yeah, this is a word that uh, is there in the soccer, right? Football. Fair play, they say. Very good. Tip number six, make your website mobile friendly. Ah, this is a good one. Let's see. Uh, Juan Roberto. Okay. Tip number six, make your website mobile friendly. Ask if keeping your website up to date and well branded wasn't enough. It is also critical to have a strong performing mobile website. This has recently become even more of a pressing issue thanks to Google announcing that they will begin to rank websites based on their mobile friendliness beginning this May. As explained on their company blog, Google explains that well start rolling out an update to mobile search results that increase the effect of the ranking signal to help our users find even more pages that are relevant and mobile friendly. Some details in which Google will identify websites that are eligible for the mobile friendly level include if text is re readable without zooming in, sizes content, to the screen to, so users don't have to scroll horizontally or zoom in places links far enough apart so that the current one can be easily taped. To see if your website is mobile friendly, Google offers a free test which you can take here. here. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. So, yeah, this is mm, it's good because, I mean, uh, in the past, you need to do a lot of things so you can make your website uh, friendly with tablets and, and cell phones. Now, uh, it's much easier, right? So it's something very, very important. Uh, let's read that. Uh, as if keeping your website up to date. Hola, Margarita. And... Hola, Margarita. Up to date. What is up to date? Mantener al día. 
Uh, yeah, very good. I'll do that. <laughs> Up to date and well branded wasn't enough. It's also critical to have a strong performing mobile website. What is performing? Desarrollo. Presencia. Mm, ejecución. Ejecutando. Performing. Performing. Que trabaje bien. Teléfono, right? So okay. this has recently become even more of a pressing issue thanks to Google announcing that they will begin to rank websites based on their mobile friendliness beginning this May. What is friendliness? Amigable. Amigable. Say amigable, right? So, very good. As explained on their company blog, Google explains that we'll start rolling out an out update to mobile search so that increases the effect of ranking signal to help our users find even more pages that are relevant and mobile friendly. What is rolling out? Desenrollar. Mm, actually, it's something like that. Rolling out is like, vamos a empezar, dicen ellos algo así como poco a poco a lanzar. No es un lanzamiento de una vez, sino que little by little they are going to start with this. Okay. So it says some uh, details on which Google will identify websites that are eligible for the mobile friendly. Uh, this word mobile, you can say mobile or mobile. Any is any pronunciation is fine. Okay. Mobile. Uh, label include if text is readable without zooming in. Okay. What is uh, readable? Leible. Leible. Good without zooming in. Size is content in the screen, so users don't have to scroll horizontally or zoom in places, links far enough apart, so that the correct one can be easily tapped. Okay, what is scroll? How to scroll? Correr. No, que se Something like that. Correr. Yeah. No creo que, no recuerdo bien la palabra para eso en español, pero scroll, como desplazar. Bien. Cuando con el mouse usted mueve hacia abajo, hacia arriba, hacia la izquierda, hacia la derecha. That, that is scroll. Horizontal. Mm -hmm. So it can be scroll vertical, horizontally. You can say scroll down or scroll up. That is the most common. Okay, and the other one says tap. What is to tap? Okay, this is something that we do every day. You know, it's something that we do when we touch with the finger the the screen. Cuando movemos el teléfono con el dedo, eso se llama tap. Okay, estamos moviendo. Como táctil. Mm, táctil sería no. como, sí, es, claro. podría ser, como, no sé, no sé si hay una palabra para eso en español, pero es como usar, ah, ah. Ajá, estar moviendo todo ahí en el teléfono con el dedo. So, that would, that. Es como tocar al final. Something like that, yeah. Okay. To see if your website is mobile friendly, Google offers a free test, which you can take here. We don't want. Uh, tip number seven, get more involved within your community. Yeah, this is something very important. Uh, let's see. Aida Isabel. Boy, Lick. Okay. Okay, get more involved. Uh, within your community. Chambers of commerces, local net, networking groups, main street organization and countless other locally meant group over terrific ways to My connect name. with other business owners. 
community leaders and customer your involvement can range for attending networking networking events to hosting community meeting in your storefront restaurant or office to volunteering volunteering based on your ex expert type expert, i guess expertise. okay as a way to give back to you, your community all of these efforts will not only connect you to need new people, aka potential customers and business um, advocates, but also help you become more familiar with your local marketplace. This knowledge is powerful if you apply it to your marketing effort and overall business plan. Particularly if your business depends uh, primarily on your local marketplace for customers. Well, so this is something very important. Get more involved within your community. So you need to be active in the community, right? Chambers of Commerce. What is Chambers? Camara de Comercio. Very good, Camara. So, local networking groups, main street organizations, and countless. What is countless? Que no tienen eh, un, un lugar. Incontable. Okay. Incontable. Countless. Incontable. Other locally minded groups. Offer terrific ways. What is terrific? Terrorífico. De okay. miedo. <laughs> Actually, it's something like that, but it's good. Terrific is something very good, very nice. Okay. It's an adjective that sometimes we confuse because, yes, it's, it's like terrific, uh, but um, it's good. Terrific is nice. Okay. With other business owners, community leaders, and customers. Uh, your involvement can range for attending networking events to hosting community meetings in your storefront, restaurant, or office, to volunteering based on your expertise as a way to give back to your community. What is to give back? Regresar. Devolver. Very good. All of these efforts will not only connect you to new people. Aka. Do you remember what is Aka? Like a gong? Uh, no, it's not like a gong. Uh, yes. uh, something like that. Yes, very good. Uh, also known as también conocidos como, right? Acá. Potential customers and business advocates. What is advocates? Advocates. Abogacía. Abogados. Very Abogado. nice. Okay. Um, abogado. Se puede usar como un verbo. But also help you become more familiar with your local market. This knowledge is powerful if you apply it to your marketing efforts and overall business plan, particularly if your business depends primarily on your local marketplace for customers. I believe it's very clear, but do you have any questions? Good. Alias. Eh, no, nosotros lo usamos como alias, pero se lo voy a poner acá en el chat. Eh, this is something we chat before in another class. Acá es also known as. Also known as. Eso significa también conocido como. Conocido por acá. I have a question. Ok. Not like it is powerful. I uh, uh, I'm sorry, what is the question? 
How do you mean of knowledge is powerful? Ah, uh, let me just look for that. This knowledge is powerful. Uh, powerful. Let me just look for that one. Come on. Ah, uh, knowledge. Yes. Yes. Eh, el conocimiento. El no conocimiento es... es poder. Es poderoso. Es poderoso. Ah, ok. Very good. Ok. And the last one. Know your customers better. Yeah, I believe that this is something that we really need to do. This is going to be for Mauricio Rivera. Okay. Know your own cost. Know your customers better. Business of all sizes can take responsibility for not knowing their customers well enough. Overall, customers change over time. Some move away. Move away. Others stop visiting your business due to lifestyle change. All of them age, and and so on. The list, the list is endless as to why customers change, which is why it's important you make it a priority to stay up to date with who your customers are, how their needs may have changed, and ways in which you can better support them. And finally, remember that quality attention is deserved, not simply received. It's, it's a non-stop effort for companies to, cap, to capture and keep consum, consumers' attention. So make sure your efforts are conscient as well. Okay, very good. So know your customers better. I believe this is very clear, right? Here. We need to know our customers. Businesses of all sizes can take responsibility for not knowing their customers well enough. Uh, remember, this word is responsibility, right? Uh, it's very common that we say responsibility, but that is in Spanish. In English, is responsibility. Very, very The dog agrees. Okay. After all, uh, customers change over time. Some move away. What is move away? Okay, move away is como irse. You move away. Others stop visiting your business due to lifestyle changes. What is due to? Okay, due to is debido a. Okay. Due to lifestyle changes. All of them age and so on. The list is endless. What is endless? In final? Same thing. Very good. As to why customers change, which is why it's important to make it a priority to stay up to date with who your customers are, how their needs may have changed, and ways in which you can better support and finally, remember that quality attention is deserved. What is deserved? Merecida. Very good. Yeah, there is an expression in English that says, get what you deserve. Tengo que mereces. So that would be it. Not simply received. It's a non-stop effort. What is non-stop? Sin parar. Sin parar. Very good. It's a non-stop effort for companies to capture and keep consumer attention. So make sure your efforts are uh, consistent as well. Do you have any questions on the last one? Okay. 
I have a question. Go ahead. Responsibility for not knowing. Mm -hmm. What is mean? Responsabilidad por no saber. Por no saber. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? For me, not teacher. Okay. Very good, very good. So that will be it for this one. Let me just check. And we're going to move to the next one. Uh, let's see if we can do this or this. Okay, so we are going to continue, and this is another article that is very interesting. So let's see how it goes. Uh, here you are. Okay, this one is called Six Key Creating Wow Customer Service Experiences. So the question is, what is a wow experience? What do you think is a wow experience? And, and innovate things, teacher, or a creative something. That is it. So, yes, it's when you feel like, wow, this was very good, right? I this is really an expression. Like... It's an expression, yeah. Wow. Okay. okay, so do you remember a company where you feel a wow experience? Mm. Yes. I remember. Okay. Uh -huh. go, sorry, sorry. No, go, uh, go ahead. I remember. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, I remember the last year I I bought a, a hair phones and the delivery wa was very fast. And I say wow because they move in in a few minutes. Maybe yeah, I wait twenty minutes. Yeah, that was a very good experience. Yeah, yeah, that is very very fast. So interesting. Yeah, not uh, all the time we can find wow, a uh, customer service experience. Right. So maybe the most common is. When people complain about cloud or companies like that, one, right? But the opposite of wild customer experience sometimes is something that we don't have. So it says, here are some of the key ingredients for putting the wow back into your customer experiences. Okay, uh, the first part, this part, is going to be for Carla Alejandra Castillo. Hey, teacher. In most businesses, once a customer begins dealing with the customer service department, he or she is already in a negative mindset. The best customer service representatives aren't those that simply neutralize the problem. Outstanding customer service representatives take a negative and turn it into a positive that ensures the customer is not only happy, but is convinced he or she has had an outstanding experience, the wow factor that he will that he will not have got with any other company. Very good. So that is true, right? In most businesses, once a customer begins dealing with the customer service department, he or she is already in a negative mindset. Yeah, there are uh, a lot of uh, barriers, right? The people, they don't want to help you. They tell you, go to the other department, go to this department, and it's not good. So, and uh, let's see. 
a negative mindset. What is mindset? Comportamiento. It could be something like that. So a mindset is like to form a dependence, right? Your mindset. The Your best customer, yeah. The best customer service representative are in those that simply neutralize the problem. Outstanding customer service representatives take a negative and turn it into a positive that ensures the customer is not only happy, but is convinced he or she has had an outstanding experience. The wow factor that he will not have got with any uh, other company. So that is what we say, oh, this is a this is wow, right? This is amazing. And it says the key ingredients of the wow experience are seamless service. Uh, anybody knows what is seamless? Like that is not the same. Okay, very good. Seamless, yeah, something like smooth, uh, very fluid, I mean, fluent. Algo que es rápido y eficiente. That is seamless service. Trustworthy service. What is trustworthy? Trustworthy. Confiable. Very good. Attentiveness, resourcefulness, courtesy, and proactive service. Uh, resourcefulness. Do you? What do you think is that? With uh, with a lot of resources, full of resources. That is resourcefulness. Good. So uh, this one, this paragraph is going to be for Roberto Carlos. Seamless service. Mail providing everything the customer needs, not just what is required to meet the minimum standards. It's about making sure that they don't have to wait and wonder. Customer will appreciate a smooth, seamless process for addressing their needs. If there are several steps needed to take care of the concerns, keep them in, to, in the loop update them by email or with a quick phone call so that they know you are working on the situation and progress is being made by keeping them a risk of that of what is going going on you are letting them know you haven't forgotten about them and that you understand their concern uh, Resurance and communication are powerful customer service tools. Service tools. Very good. So that is similar service. Means providing everything customer needs, not just what is required to meet the minimum standards. It's about making sure that they don't have to wait and wonder. What is wonder? Maravilloso. 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 But in this case, it's different. You know? Wonder is when you, for example, you say, when you say, I wonder if I can go tomorrow to the beach. Like a question. It's like a question. Se queda pensando, ¿qué va a pasar? ¿Qué va a suceder esto? ¿Podrá pasar esto? So that is wonder. Okay? So the customer, they don't have to wonder what's going to happen. Okay, so customers will appreciate a smooth, seamless process for addressing their needs. Do you remember what is addressing? Direccionando. Direccionando sus necesidades. Okay, addressing. So it's like como manejándolas de manera de que se. Cuando nosotros decimos address, address a problem, es como cuando decimos hay que enfrentarlo, hay que manejarlo, something like that. 
And then it says, if there are several staffs needed uh, to take care of their concerns. What is concerns? Concerns. Concerniente. Preocupaciones, Preocupaciones. Very good. A concern is like when something that you are worried about. Keep them in the loop. What is uh, in the loop? Loop. Una vuelta, un recorrido. Uh, something like that, Java. To have someone in the loop is like uh, tenerlo informado. Something like that. Keep the el lazo, eh, lo que los une. Uh, okay, very good. Update them by email um, or a quick phone call so that they know you are working on the situation and progress uh, is being made by keeping them abreast. What is abreast? It could be something like that. Abreast. Abreast. So uh, keep them abreast is like uh, mantenerlos al frente, decirle de frente lo que le está pasando al caso, situación, o whatever. So, not hiding, right? Uh, of what is going on. You are letting them know you haven't forgotten about them and that you understand their concerns. Reassurance. What is reassurance? Reasegurarse. Okay. Mm -hmm. And communication are powerful customer service. Do you have any questions on the first one? No, teacher. Okay. The second one is going to be for see Victor Reyes. Second. Uh, this trust, this trustworthy. Uh, how do you say that word? Yeah. Trustworthy service. Trust, yeah, trustworthy. Trustworthy service is essential to retaining customers. Promising a customer anything and delivering nothing is the surest way to. <laughs> A way to not only lose lose a customer, but get the kind of word of mouth, but press that kind ruin ruin you. Under promise and over delivered is you promise a satisfactory sales solution and then go the extra mile, uh, to not only satisfy the customer but uh, again their appreciation and woe, then you will get word of mouth that will bring new customers to you. Very good, part. So, trustworthy service is essential uh, to retaining customers, promising customers anything and delivering nothing is the surest way to not only lose a customer, but get the kind of word of mouth a bad press that can ruin you. Definitely it's true, right? So what is word of mouth? Okay. Yeah, word of mouth is something that we said before, the boca and boca, word of mouth. Uh, under promise and over deliver. If you promise a satisfactory yes. solution mm -hmm. and then go the extra mile, not only satisfy your customer, but gain their appreciation and wow them, you will get word of mouth that will bring new customers. Yeah, very clear. Do you have any questions here? It's okay, coach. 
Very good. The other one is attentive service. Silvia Patricia. Okay, attentive service. It means paying attention during and after the initial contact. How many times have you contacted customer service and been subjected to an obviously scripted response in front of the customer service representative? Does it give you the feeling they aren't really listening, but just trying to get to the end? of their kind of presentation. Okay, so attentive service is also very important. Means paying attention during and after the initial contact. How many times have you contacted this customer service and been subjected to an obviously script response from the customer service representative? Yeah, this is very common. What is scripted? A scripted response. Okay, a scripted response is una respuesta que ya está escrita. So, they are just reading something. So, it's not good. Uh, it says, does it give you the feeling they aren't really listening? But just trying to get to the end of the can representation. What is can? Sí. La, enlatado ¿no? enlatado very good next one is attentiveness that is going to be for let's see Eric Reyes it will be resource successfulness no uh, you know attentiveness Attentiveness, no, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay, attentiveness. Should wrong throw every customer service experience from listening carefully to the customer's concerns to following up after the exchange, it's over to make sure their needs have been met. Listening isn't just about hearing. It is about understanding what is really being said. The words are just the beginning. That's about the customer's tone of voice. Her mouth. Is she disappointed, angry, or frustrated? Okay. Keying, keying in, into the customer's mood and responding appropriately is essential and it means not following a script. Very good, perfect. So, uh, attentiveness should run through every customer service experience. From listening carefully to the customer's concerns to well, following up after uh, the exchange. What is exchange? Change. Extra cargo, no? No, es como es intercambio. intercambio. Ah, intercambio. Okay. It's over to make sure the needs have been met. Listening isn't just about hearing. It is about understanding what is... Uh, intercambio. Really the words are just the beginning. What about the customer's tone of voice? Her mood, what is mood? La y estado de ánimo, no. Very good, that is un estado de ánimo. So, very good. Actually, there is a, an adjective that it says, I am moody. Moody means que cambia estado de ánimo. Is she disappointed? What is disappointed? 
desaprobación. Desacuerdo. Desacuerdo. Ya, yeah, como decepcionado. Something like, oh, no. Angry or frustrated. King. King comes with key. Como haciendo algo claro. Key. King. 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 Into the customer's mood and responding appropriately. It's essential. And it means not following a script. So, not a script. Never a script. Do you have questions on that? All right, the other one says resourcefulness. Okay. Paola Hernandez. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Resourcefulness means finding solutions when there appear to be none. Many companies have ironclad policies, policies that must be followed whenever a problem arises. However, sometimes a customer won't be satisfied by the company line approach. Resourceful Customer service representatives know that there is always a way to move beyond the standard procedures. Procedures? Procedures. Sorry, teacher. Procedures. Procedures? Procedures? In order to make a customer resourceful, involves finding a solution when a when a solution is in... What do you pronounce this word, teacher? A apparent. Apparent. This may mean moving up the chain of command before the customer demands to talk to your superior. superior. Companies with excellent customer service also give their representatives some leeway so that they can come come up with create with creative, creative solutions on their own. When a customer sends that you are going beyond the norm to help them, they will feel valued and respected. Very good, perfect. So Let's check. Resourcefulness means finding solutions when they appear to be done. Yeah, sometimes we need to look for the resources, right? So none. What is none? Ninguno. 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 And then it says many companies have ironclad policies. What is ironclad policies? Políticas eh, escritas en, en hierro, o algo así. Eso. Something like that. Very good. So, son políticas que no cambian, no se adaptan. So, uh, that must be followed whenever a problem arises. However, sometimes a customer won't be satisfied by the company line. So, that's why we need to be careful. And then says, uh, resourceful customer service representatives know that there is always a way to move beyond. What is beyond? Más allá. Más allá. Very good. Beyond the standard procedures in order to make a customer happy. Resourcefulness involves finding a solution when a solution isn't apparent. Apparently. This may mean moving up the chain of command before the customer demands to talk to superior. superior. Companies with excellent customer service also give the representatives some leeway. What is leeway? Libre para hacer algo. Very good. Libertad para poder hacer depende de la llamada o del So that they can come up. What is come up? Come up. 
Come up es como cuando se te ocurre algo. Se me ocurrió. Come up. Come up with creative solutions on their own. On their own. ¿Qué sería on their own? Nuestro propietario. On el, on el propietario. Ok, cuando decimos on my own, on your own, on their own, eh, por sí mismo. Por mi propia cuenta. O sea, por sí mismo. Very good. That is. On their own. On their own. When a customer senses that you are going beyond the norm to help them, they will feel valued. Well, that is true. And what is check senses? Sense. Detecta. La sense. Sentido. Detecta. Sentido. Siente. Sentido. Very okay. good. Okay, then we have courtesy. Teacher, in the, in yeah. the first paragraph for resourcefulness, the uh -huh. word ar arise, arises. Okay, problem, and the value... problem arises, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, whenever a problem <laughs> arises, surge, surge. Okay. Good. Mm. Okay, courtesy. Let me check. Uh, Ramiro, please help me, courtesy. Courtesy is a commodity, commodity that is become rarer every day. It takes so light, uh, so little to be polite, but is the is becoming a lost art. Say please when you ask a customer a question. Thank uh, them the their information and take your time talking to, to them. Nothing make a customer feel more devalued than being uh, than being the uh, ther 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 like a number. Use the person name make request rate uh, rater than demands of no right. when to apologize apologize. When something gone goes wrong for a customer. They want to hear that you understand, understand, excuse me, their frustration and that you are genuinely sorry that they are being conventional. It takes nothing to say. I am so sorry you aren't satisfied, satisfied, nice and satisfied, and I hope we can do something something to correct this very good courtesy is courtesy. a com yeah courtesy uh, is a commodity what is commodity comodidad comodidad uh, well it's como un producto una mercancía that is commodity a product let's say courtesy is a commodity that is becoming rarer every day that is true. It takes so little to be polite. What is polite? Amable. Very good. Educado. Very good. But it is becoming a lost art. Say please when you ask a customer question. Thank them for their information and take your time talking to them. Nothing makes a customer feel more devalued. Uh, what is devalued? De evaluado. De evaluado. Very good. Than being treated like a number. Use the person's name, make requests rather than demands, and know when to apologize. When, well, what is apologize? Disculpas. Very good. When something goes wrong for a customer, they want to hear that you understand. Their frustration and that you are genuinely sorry that they are being inconvenienced. It takes nothing to say I'm sorry. 
you aren't satisfied and I hope we can do something to correct this. Okay, questions here. Mm. Uh, what is three uh, uh, first line? Three three is like a number. Tratado. Tratado. Okay. And this is the last one. Proactive service. Uh, this is for Juan Roberto. Okay. Proactive service means not waiting for the customer to come up with a solution that you simply follow through, through on. A proactive customer service representative anticipates the needs of the customer and follows through. Don't wait for the customer to ask, to ask you what you are willing to do. Anticipate the question and ask where it before they can ask. If they call and say they aren't satisfied, apologize and immediately suggest some solutions. Customers want, want you to take the lead, acknowledge their unhappiness, offer a solution or solutions and explain to them how you are going to follow through. Proactive service means taking the lead which will reassure your customers that you know that you are doing and that you will follow through. If you keep these six keys in mind, seamless service, trustworthiness, attentiveness, resourcefulness, courtesy, and proactive service, you will be able to offer every customer that wow customer service experience that inspires loyalty and keeps customers coming back for more. Very good. So that is proactive. I know that you know what is proactive service, right? Means not waiting for the customer to come up with a solution that you simply follow. A proactive customer service representative anticipates the needs of the customers and follows through. Don't wait for the customer to ask you what you are willing to do. Do you remember what is willing? Yes, dispuesto. Very good, dispuesto. Anticipate the question and answer it before they can ask. If they can call and say they aren't satisfied, apologize and immediately suggest some solutions. Uh, customers want you to take the lead Acknowledge. What is acknowledge? Desconocimiento. Okay. Acknowledge is como reconocer. Reconocer. Their unhappiness. What is unhappiness? Acknowledge. Infelicidad. Infelicidad. Very good. Offer a solution or solutions and explain to them how you are going to follow through. Proactive service means taking the lead, which will reassure your customers that you know what you are doing and that you will follow through. If you keep the six keys in mind, uh, you will be able to offer every customer the wow customer service experience that inspires loyalty, and keeps customer coming back for more. Do you have any questions here? No, no for no for me, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Very good, so a lot of vocabulary today, right? A lot of new words. So uh, what are the new words that you learned today? Tell me, share with me. 
a lot to the vocabulary new today. <laughs> really. A lot for, of words. For, for, I for have example. a complete page. Really, my. Casi me muerdo la lengua. Yeah, it's very interesting because, I mean, there are many words. Uh, many words, some of those words are very common. Sometimes there are words that are not that common, depending on the topic that you are speaking about. But uh, readings are amazing because of that one. If you read books in English, you are going to find a lot, of them, a lot of, okay? And uh, words that are, I mean, you can see that there are words that we use in, in, in Spanish, right? But we don't know them in English. So sometimes that happens. Some words are not that very frequently used, but some others uh, are nice. The key, when you get a lot of vocabulary or, or if you want to learn vocabulary is that there are different steps. First one is to understand the word, okay? Not the meaning in Spanish because remember that the word sometimes they have different usage, okay? So understand the word. What is this word and how can I use it in different contexts? And then the practice. The, one of the problems that we have in English is that uh, sometimes you know that word. I mean, I tell you in the class, this word is this. And everybody says, oh, okay, I understand. But if you don't use it, you won't remember the word. So the next time that you see the word, you are going to say, I know that word. But you won't remember the usage or how to, I mean, pronounce or many other things. So whenever you have vocabulary, you need to try to, to use them, to practice. There are many ways that you can practice. For example, you can write a paragraph with this vocabulary. You can try to, to use the words in sentences, analyze something in your mind, how to use this word many things that you can do, but the practice is always the best resource. Introduce this word or the new word in our conversation. Exactly. Use the new words. That is very, very okay. So, very good that you got a lot of words. Some of those are very, I believe that the words that we check today are not that difficult or that strange but sometimes that happens sometimes we find a lot of words and exists a lot of words that we use in Spanish for example how do you say volado in English thing thing you can say thing yeah that is a word for that one uh, but there is a word for that in English you know a word exactly for volado and that is wachamacarit so you can say, give me the Wachamakali. It's like that thing, I don't know the name. So that is it. Wachamakali. Wachamakali. So that is, there are many words that we can learn and there are many things that we can do. And almost always there is a word for, for that in English or in Spanish, an equivalent, right? So very good. And pronunciation is also very important. Okay, remember that you can just look for that one in Google and you are going to be able to listen to the pronunciation, which is very, very good. Uh, do you have any questions for the class of tonight? Well, finish class. Uh, when? Uh, we're going to finish class next Tuesday, exactly in one week, October 10th. 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 Tuesday 10th. Okay, so remember to finish the platform this weekend. We need to finish all the platform this weekend. Let's check the attendance and then let's go to bed. Okay, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. 
Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Here, coach. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Here, teacher. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Je Good. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Present. Juan Roberto Present. Velázquez Romero. Ah, ok. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidoni. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. I am here. Good. Sandra Janina Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Perfect. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. And See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank good you. night, teacher. Welcome. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.